that was a great night in the posse. We had uh, eight of us in there on the bunk beds, and then we got up in the night for a toilet break, me and Luke. Three lads turned up half past 12. We didn't know they were there, nearly trodden them, so. Yeah, but when we got up at three o'clock in the morning, this is what we discovered. Look at that. So it was right, rain did turn to snow. There's Eddie filming me, filming him. Shoot across the beams. <laughs> Right, excuse me, you're going to have to face into the snow because uh, with the wind, there's a lot. Morning, Eddie. Hello. It's great Beautiful. to meet Austin. Yeah. And Lucy, a great couple. Been a long Fantastic time coming. People. Yeah. Me, meeting me YouTube hero. And everybody we've met in the, the bosses, the bunkhouse has been great. Yeah, they haven't, though. Yeah. Great and stuff, it was, uh, yeah. what's the young lad's birthday? Uh, young lad. Uh, Will. Will. A, a, yeah. He was, it's his 11th birthday and he had a. A birthday cake. And he's well. loving the snow. He's <laughs> loving it. He's woken up all excited, isn't he? Right. He's loving it. Yeah, so am I. I think I'm going to join you. Right. Yeah, so a cup of coffee sounds like a great idea. I'm following Eddie straight in. It's too cold out here. Oh, is it? I think I'm think on it. Yeah, no, I didn't get that yet. Sit down. Big clean up going on in here. That's where we all slept. Go backwards as you're walking towards it. And Lucy's just showing Will, birthday boy Will, my drone. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's too windy, I'm showing you it flying, but yeah, it's, too windy out there. it's a bit bad out there today. Oh, right, all these lads are off. Oh, we've got a snowball oh, fight on the way down. Snowball. Watch out, Will. <laughs> <laughs> He's made you one. Great to meet you. Great to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Happy birthday, Will. See you later, mate. Yeah, nice to meet you. Bass might cross again at some point. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Can you message through YouTube? Yes, you can, yeah. Just comment at the bottom. Right. And then... Um, we'll get in touch. Exactly. I've got yeah. the two feet on. That's it. And Scott's wild camper, Gerard Taylor. I'll find the other ones when I get back. Yeah. If you find two feet forward, you can go on to their subscriptions. And we'll oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I've got a list of subscriptions down there. Right. Oh, I hope I have. You are. <laughs> you are. <laughs> right, come on, guys. We've got to find All right. All right. Enjoy See you later, life. lads. Bye. Have a good walk. Bye. See ya. Off they go. That is going to be a hard walk up. Brilliant bringing a youngster like Will up here. He's going to be a tough kid, that one. I bet none of his mates at school have done this on the weekend, on the Monday morning, that's for sure. Welcome back guys, We're, uh, we've left the bothy, it's all empty now. We're leaving our bags in there. Because of the snow, um, the road up here is so steep and the switchbacks, it's literally like hard not pass. So we're gonna head up to Dullin Reservoir because Jed and Eddie are gonna take some photos and stuff. So yeah, we're gonna walk up there. We're leaving our bags in the bothy and then we're gonna head back down just in case we can't get down that hill. We should be all right. And then probably gonna head, head to Cybod or something like that. So I'll bring you back when we get to the lake. A fair old bit of snowfall last night. But very wet and marshy underneath. Heavy on the feet. So dodgy old water crossing today, thanks buddy. Oh, it, no, you go on, I've got that. Unfortunately, my Sony just ran out, so uh, I'm back on the GoPro, so wobbly camera now. But just look at this behind you. That's the pipeline that brings the water down from the other reservoir. Stunning. Yeah, apologies for the wobbly camera. What a place, what a place, look at this. Right, we're 
we're all done, we're off. We've checked the buffet, had a coffee, been up to the lake, and then we're gonna uh, meander down to the car through the snow. So, we will see you down there. We're off, this is the way we're heading. Left hand side of the river today. Could be a bit mushy, but hopefully the snow will be right. about 25 minutes now. The path, gone particularly. There isn't any path really. It is marked on a footpath so if you've got something like View Ranger, line yourself up, line your red square, your red cross up on the path and just stick to that. Because uh, in the snow it disappears. So we're heading down to that fence and if you're coming down this way, don't be tempted to drop down stay up because there's stiles on the fence. The first time we came here we walked all the way down to the river and then had to walk back up to get over the fence with the dog. Oh, slippy. There's the guys going off in the distance. We're going to head to a cafe. Sounds brilliant. Yeah, if you're going to come to this uh, darling body, I would recommend walking the road route in. Not this way, simply because of the water and the bog, as you can see. It's all right getting uh, wet feet on the way out, but getting them on the way in ain't much fun. Just throw your poles over there and use to grab Lucy's, you keep you upright. Well, we are back down. We're on the double track that we started off yesterday. And you're not gonna make this out. But by my finger, there's our cars. So, we're gonna have to negotiate the switchbacks. Hopefully they're not too slippy. Especially for Jed, because he's in a, obviously he's in a uh, road tires on his car, uh, summer tires. So, get down there, get some breakfast, lovely. Here we are, back in the car, just as windy as it was yesterday, Jesus. Look at that view. That's where we come down from. Wow. So, it did snow down here. I reckon if we'd have come down at seven in the morning, Jed would have struggled to get down there. Look, I've still got snow on my windscreen. Well, that was absolutely brilliant. Time for a coffee and something to eat. Catch up with you later. Right, now this is the reason. Mm -hmm. Right. Now these switchbacks, you can see how steep they are. This is the reason you want to really consider in the winter whether you're going to drive up here or not. Because look at this. Look at Jed's car coming down there. there you go. Hello guys, welcome back. We're parked up. That is Plaz Agrenin. The mountain training place. So we're parked up in this lay-by and we are heading up here, no sideboard or sideboard. But what we're going to do is we're just going to get past this tree line and where the rocks start and the crags and the hollows, hopefully we'll find a pitch in there. So we're not going too far because it's quite late now. We've had lunch in uh, Betis. Yeah, it's been brilliant. So yeah, this will be good. Get out in the tents. Um, yeah, we didn't get out last night. It didn't matter, did it? So, because we were in the boffy, it was brilliant. But it'll be nice to spend the night in the tent, wouldn't it? Yeah, we'll get on really well. Yeah, it's brilliant with um, Jed and Eddie. It's fantastic, yeah. It's funny with YouTube. It's like you've known them for years because you've been watching them for years, haven't you? Anyway, let's get up there, right. 
I'll bring you back when we're in the forest. Some serious weather coming in because the winds tonight 100 plus kilometers and look across the valley down there it's just sheeting across so uh, yeah this is gonna be it I'm afraid well we're heading lower down even still we still can't find anywhere to pitch it's the pitches that we can find are too sloped they're too boggy or they're too exposed to this wind so we're gonna have a look down there now but we're going to head back down until we find somewhere and maybe we'll sleep at the valley floor, who cares, but as long as it's flattened out this wind. Right, we're back down to the lake and struggling to find a pitch. It's looking pretty grim. So we're going to head back to the bridge and then see if uh, there's anything in view from there and then see what our options are. Ooh, ooh. Oh, there's just pointed through the trees at a bit of green grass and what looks like a bit of flat area. Hello guys, right, we found a pitch, the only pitch available. A little bit rough, it's an old camp spot, it's right by the road unfortunately. But not a lot we can do, it's either that or we'll go back to the bunkhouse. He's already putting up his Sulu, Sulu, whatever you want to call it. He's putting up his Zango. There's a quasar in the background. Not a bad spot, just so bloody windy. Hello guys, hope you can see this. Sorry, I've got my... Uh, Eddie's just given me a Turkish delight and it's splattered round my face. <laughs> but uh, as you can hear... Wow. I'll show you out the door and you're probably not going to see the hail because it's moving far too quickly. But there you go, that's hail at the moment. That's oh, calming down. But... It's going to get up to about 100 kilometres tonight. We are in for a uh, a battering tonight, so it's going to be uh, good fun. So we'll see how it goes. Just show you the view out the door before it gets too dark. Look at that. I don't know if you can make that out in the distance. Beautiful. Okay, time for a coffee. I'm back on the posh coffees at the moment. Cafe Express off eBay. Amazon, sorry. Like I said, these, uh, they're not so great in winter because your water cools too much, but it's not cold today, not out the wind. And it makes a stunning cup of coffee, so, yeah, well worth it. So the gentleman that was asking what coffee I drink, this is one of the options. Cafe Express, a fresh ground coffee filter and a one cup filter bag. Brilliant. No, you can't get them in the shops. Right, we're all set up, windy as hell, and uh, the wine is on the go, so cheers darling. Cheers. Cheers. And here is to a brilliant camp, and right to meet Jed and Eddie, been brilliant, have to do it again. Cheers guys. Cheers. Quite harsh, isn't it? Good evening. Well, we've had a good night. We've had Eddie and Jed in the tent, because the quasar's just about big enough for four. <laughs> The weather is horrendous. We've got um, hailstones and whoa, up to 100, up to 115 kilometer winds apparently tonight. Maybe not down here on the valley floor, but it ain't going to be far off because we've got nothing in the way. We've we, we've got the whole valley in front of us and then a lake, and that's it. So what a what a great evening, great day actually. Right. So we are going to go to bed great and uh, hey, great weekend. Though. Yeah, great weekend. So we're gonna go to bed and we'll see you in the morning. We still haven't decided what we're doing tomorrow. We don't know where we're gonna end up. Oops. 
it's hard to keep that light up there with this wind. Anyway, good night. We will see you in the morning. Then, it's, uh, well, it's about eight o'clock. We had a good sleep actually, even in that wind. It was uh, howling away, but not too bad. Oh, I've literally just woken up, so excuse the state of me. Yeah, we're going to get a coffee on and then we're going to decide whether we're going to go just for a walk and stay in the bunkhouse because of the wind and the conditions or we're going to try and have a wild camp, we'll see. Got a feeling it's going to be in the bunkhouse. Right, let's get a coffee going. Good morning once again. Right, a <clears throat> couple of coffees in the bag. Woken up a little bit. And that is the spot we managed to find last night. There's Jed. Starting to pack up. So we're <laughs> Eddie's well ahead of us. We're going to be the last as usual. <clears throat> but over there, that's where our car is. So we walked up here. We went mile, well not miles, but we went half a mile up there, across the river, looked for a pitch. We went everywhere and in the end we came back to virtually where we started. So yeah. But what a spot, but the wind, wow. And obviously there's nothing to stop it coming along here. As you can see, it's calmed down a bit. There's Eddie. But last night, I went down to get some water for some noodles. I came back soaked. The waves were hitting the rocks and they, the spray was coming 10 foot in the air. It was unbelievable. At one point, I think it was hitting the tents. It was so windy. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. So, right, we better pack up. We're way behind. Right, as you can see behind me, Jed's all packed up. We're all packed up. The fire has nothing to do with us. And as usual, no trace whatsoever. That's where Eddie was. Here's where we were. That's where Jed was. So, we're going to head back, find a bunkhouse, have a cup of tea, and then probably go for a walk, just a short one down near the cottage, um, near in the Ogren Valley, yeah, but Lynn Idval. Have a walk up there at the base of the Devil's Kitchen. So, yeah, we're going to get the packs on and get that sorted. I'll bring you back when we get to the bunkhouse because it'll be a different one, this one. Right, we'll see you later. Hello, guys. Right, we have made it to the bunkhouse. This is uh, a different bunkhouse today. This is the Gwern Goth Isaf bunkhouse. And just as I've got out the car and I couldn't get the camera out, an RAF jet just hurtled along here. Scared the life out of us. Brilliant. So, I'll show you. They've got pods. Um, they've even got one of these eco hot tubs that you can sit out in and you, you, you heat it with a log fire. Here's your toilet blocks. And we are in this brilliant little place here. I'll take you up. And there, there's group. Okay. And in here is the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a brilliant little bunkhouse, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so look upstairs. Right, this is the sleeping area. But watch your head, it's like, a, like an Amsterdam staircase. And there you go, look at this. It's even got a radiator. There you go, what a place. Little sofa, sleep six. And there's your view. So, happy days. We're going to get the kettle on and have a cup of tea. See you in a little while. Right, we're just on our way down. This is the Ogren Valley. And Jed is the silver car in front of the red one there. That's Jed and Eddie. We're going to go down to uh, down to the cottage and head up to um, Linnidval for uh, just a nice gentle walk up. But look at the view, wait till you get round this corner. Look at this, I mean, who needs the Alps, eh? Look at that. Right, here we are. We're just gonna nip up to Lin Linidval. So we're just going up this path here, which will take us down in that hollow. Brilliant. What a beautiful day, what a place. And that's Penny Roll when you just walk down there where the bridge and the water is, you carry on up that face and you can just see the path at the end of my finger. Going up. That is a good walk up, highly recommended. Here we are, on the track up to Linnidval. How beautiful is this? 
just 30 seconds from the road and you're already in paradise. And up there, Devil's Kitchen. This goes down through a disused mine. We've never come down this way before. I just managed to uh, get the drone up, but not a lot I can do with it. It's too windy, so I didn't want to risk it too much. Only a couple of shots, but at least I managed to get it off the ground for the weekend. comes out just behind Edvar Cottage, or the, oh, sorry, Ogvin Cottage. Look at that. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's lovely. It yeah. looks natural. Oh, look at that slab falling off. Yeah. Chunk. Oh. Look at that. That makes you think, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Jeez. Cool. We're back down. We just had a lovely sausage roll and a coffee at the little cafe over there. There's Eddie and Jed. We're just going to head back and show Eddie the waterfalls down here and where you, you head up Penny Rollwin. Up that beastie behind there. And you can see the kids behind the trees in the luminous jackets. They're either doing a geology course or a scrambling course or something, but they're loving it. What a great place to bring it, bring it for a school trip, you know. This is the start of the Carnedi route up to Penny Rollwin. You just go through there left and you climb. And it is brilliant, highly recommended. Safe Purple Cat did a good video on this climb as well. You come a bit unstuck up there. Great video though. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wet bottom being nice. I love this view. Look at that. had the drone up so I'm hoping to get some great shots of this falls behind me but what a place and look at Trivan in the background stunning oh there's a bridge within a bridge you won't tell me that camera there's one dead up there Oh, 
Guys, look at this. This is the old, the original Roman. The original bridge. Yeah, the Roman, the Roman bridge. But this is the Roman bridge. That's what I've been told. Right. We're back in the bunkhouse now, and we're well equipped. <laughs> <laughs> Cobra beer. Merlin. Merlin Welsh cream liqueur from the Penderan distillery. And a few bottles of wine. So, yep, we're all set up. Um, Eddie and Jed are having a well-deserved shower. We're going in after them, and it's gonna be great. So, yeah, hopefully we'll have a good night tonight and uh, relax. Catch up with you later. Well, I'll tell you what, that's this wild camping lark's are, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Right, we are all done. It's been absolutely brilliant meeting the lads. Absolute pleasure meeting you both. Yeah. Felt like we knew you already, didn't we? Yeah. 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 And uh, considering the weather, we've had a bloody good weekend, didn't we? Uh, we've yeah. Had a good few days. It's been brilliant. So, thank you very much, gentlemen. It's been an absolute pleasure to meet you. And we will meet you again, no doubt. Yay! Brilliant. I have a big hug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's been amazing.